Hi, I'm Ed Scar, and I'm going to sully a bolt action bit by putting it on a Games Workshop model. Ew. The model today doesn't really warrant a 10 to 15 minute video, so I'll be keeping it a little shorter, but it's still interesting in a couple of ways. The character I'm recreating is an officer of the Rohan Deepers from Gaunt's Ghost's series of books. The Rohan themselves are pseudo based on World War I, World War II soldiers of the British Empire. Maybe English, maybe Anzacs particularly, I've heard a lot of different theories about what they were based on. But I felt it would be pretty easy to make a tabletop model for Rohan Deeper by clearing out some spare parts from my bits bin. The head is the notable point that I want to focus on here. It is a leftover from the Warlord Games Italeri Universal Carrier. Uh, that has featured in a couple of my live streams, and it's because I swapped out the heads of the crew for the Scots Tam O'Shanter's heads on the infantry sprues. And that head is the important bit because it's got a Brody helmet with a mesh covering, and that will fit the Deepers nicely. The legs are um, an old failed 3D print that I cut in half and just using them for the puttees, and the rest of the model, all the middle, is the old style Cadian bits, just leftovers from my Tanith project. And as I've been painting a desert themed 8th army, the Desert Rats, particularly for bolt action, I went ahead and started this model in the kind of the same uniform colours, but this time I mixed in a lot more green for the Cadian body armour, as that mix of colours would be quite suitable, as if the Munitorum would issue a new uniform and body armour. Well, that. <laughs> You're expecting too much there, soldier. This idea of a quick head swap is not new in the slightest, especially for the Imperial Guard. Assuming that some amount of the equipment is standard issue, body armor, blast gun, and all of the other standard issue is much less standard, a pack of heads can make your infantry far more characterful for very little effort. However, it can be a little expensive. I have seen people spend two, three, or even upwards of five pounds per head, which is impressively expensive for an army that quite easily could have more than a hundred infantry models. And so I want to clue you in to the Warlord Games sprues and boxes of infantry for bolt action. As they are all in 28mm hero scale, although the exact amount of hero scale does vary, a lot of them do match Games Workshop human models. These usually retail for just over a pound a model, but are often cheaper buying secondhand or even just buying the bits left over on eBay. And given the vast quantity of options on the sprues, especially for the British that have four head options per model, you can get loads of spares. And just for some examples, the British Brodie helmet, the Sikh turbans, South African pith helmets, Aussie slouch hats, Berets, and I wish I'd have known about the berets as those would have come in fantastically handy for my Tanith. And there's even some fezzes on one of the German sprues, although maybe sand that symbol off. The big bonus for all of this is after you've paid one pound per head for your conversion, you still have enough parts left over to build the actual models from the box and have a platoon for a far more fun game. Well, I'm nearly done with painting my Ryan Deeper here, and I realize I don't really have to conform to my rule of not using washes for my British models. Because they're out in the desert, the deeper I can use a wash to go a bit more grimdark it is 40k after all. Naturally the wash does need a lot of cleanup, it always does and that's fine, but to round out the model I'm going to lean into that Rhone Deeper trench warfare aesthetic. I'll put a few scraps down on the base to achieve that. One easy way of making a little bit of razor wire, or electro wire if you prefer, is to take an offcut of spring from your collection of random mechanical doodads and wrap a wire around it, and the wire probably also comes from your doodad drawer. Some heaped mud effect from flour and PVA glue, and then a cutting from a lollipop stick for some duck boarding, and that's pretty much all that was needed. And, as you always should, painting the base room to match the colour of the terrain so that it blends in together. And there is the model done. A Rowan Deeper, a sergeant or officer with a spare bolt gun, having a wander over the trench top to check on his troops. So, let me know what you think, and do have a look past all those head options that Warlord Games show, 
Uh, and they do actually show the sprues on the website as well to make it even easier to find what you're looking for. But for now, I'm Edgar, always will be, and thank you very much for watching.